Hey everyone, I'm down at the data center, and man is it loud. It's actually over 90 decibels here, and it's not even 5 in the afternoon when all the renders are at their full peak. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and take a look today at the new PowerEdge C6525 render node. We actually have four of these nodes in a 2U chassis. So let's go ahead and take a look at this chassis while we have one outside of the rack. Like I said, this is the PowerEdge C6525. This is the form factor we use most often where we have two rack units of space for a chassis and we put four of these nodes inside one of those chassis. So we're able to put 512 cores in a 2U of rack space. That's crazy. So looking at this, we've got dual AMD 7662 uh, processors. These come in standard at 2 gigahertz, but with 64 cores, so you can run 128 threads. It has a 256 megabyte cache, and it has a, it handles DDR4 3200 RAM. So if you look, you'll see that we have 16 sticks of RAM per node, and this is to allow us to fully populate all of the channels and make sure that we can maximize the efficiency of that proc. It's always best to fully populate your RAM and have it balanced so that you can get the full uh, effect of the processor. As far as the hard drive goes, since most of our render nodes are serving off of an Isilon or central storage, we generally just put a half a terabyte or a 480 gigabit SATA drive in there. Uh, it does run on an M.2 backplane, so it's extremely fast and more than good enough. Generally, our render nodes have a 10 gigabit copper nick on the back, and of course it is downward compatible to 5, 2.5, or 1 gigabit. So again, this is crazy that you can put 512 cores into two units of rack space, and this machine is absolutely gorgeous, and I just wanted everyone to take a look at it. We do rent these out and we sell these, and in fact, they're becoming quite the hot commodity with the scarcity issues that are going out there. So um, we're definitely uh, having these fly off the shelves. As soon as we can get them in, they're getting deployed. So thanks everyone for taking a look. If you have any questions about this, drop in the comments and I'll let you know.